Hello and welcome to the Palm Fang Girl Show. I am so glad that you're here today. I've got lots of cool stuff for you to see. Uh, Janet in Tucson, Arizona. Hi, Janet. She sent me some wonderful pics of her water garden and in the desert area. And uh, let's take a look at that. Okay, let's take a look at some of uh, uh, Janet's pictures, and they are great. Here you can see she's got a double level pond, oh, and, that, and she outdid herself. And we've got a pond leading into another pond with a little river. This is great. I call this like the Tiki Man, and what it actually is, I will let you know. Janet says, this is my new Mother Nature head. She looks over all that grows. At least that's what the guy at the nursery said <laughs> it was called. Um, she says, we drilled it and made it into a spitter. I have a biofilter behind it. I believe this is called an emperor dragonfly. Correct me if I am wrong. I have these that visit my garden too, and Janet gets them in Tucson, Arizona. Janet also says she has dragonflies that love her yard and he invites all his little dragonfly fly, fly, fly friends. Uh, but poor Janet, she says, I hate them and they creep me out, but they look too cool too. You know, they like to perch on top of um, like tall blades of rush or um, a water iris. Well, even in the desert, you get some snow now and then. Not too often, but just get pretty darn cold snow or not. And these are some things that I'm going to be talking about with you. It's how to protect your water garden, even with the snow. Holy cow, I just had a Klondike bar and I'm freezing. <sighs> so, anyway, from the desert heat to the winter cold, we did you see a frog? Uh, we've got some things coming up here for me to show you. Uh, what I've got out in my courtyard, actually, is an area that I want to cover up this winter um, with a 20 by 25 plastic sheeting with a 6 milliliter plastic sheeting. And that's just about right for greenhouse material. And you can also use the uh, six milliliter um, percentage or whatever you call it uh, for building a greenhouse at your place. So I did some comparative shopping and uh, let's take a look at what I found. And I went to Home Depot. Everyone say hi to Steve. Okay, at Home Depot, the price of a 20 by 25 sheet, you might not need so much or you might if you're just building a greenhouse Price of a 20 by 25 sheet, $51.97. Is that a good price? Uh, no, not really, because I found some better prices out there. So, you know, almost every town has a good old boy hardware store. So I checked out True Value. Help is just around the corner. Are these your true value guys that you see in the store? I don't think so. They look more like this. There you go. Guy in the middle kind of looks like my dad. And uh, actually, the guys on the side look like computer techs. Okay, can true value help you with your um, ponding needs and with getting some six milliliter plastic sheeting for a greenhouse project? Ah, no, they can't. And do you know why? They don't carry it. At least that's what it looked like online. Okay, so let's take a look at eBay. Does eBay have six milliliter plastic sheeting? Well, eBay has everything. What was the best price that I found? Yay, $31.99. And that includes the shipping. Well, eBay was not the lowest one. So, I took a look at Lowe's. A lot of town ha towns have Lowe's hardware. And uh, this grizzly bear, he wants to know, is there plastic sheeting out there? He's coming to get ya. Well, first of all, let's take a look. Oh, look, there is a pond in this picture. See it there on the lower right-hand corner of the picture? 
Okay, do they have plastic sheeting? Yes, they do. And they are actually the winner. And the price is, let me look this up for you. Price is $26.23. That's the price I got online. Of course, it might vary now. They are number one, Lowe's. So you can purchase that online at Lowe's.com. Or if you have a Lowe's hardware in your town, go ahead and get some plastic sheeting. And the guys at Lowe's are really helpful. I really enjoy them a lot. So, what if building um, a greenhouse or, or um, enclosing like your courtyard like I have or a patio is not an option for you? Well, there's always hydroponics. And take a look at this picture right here. This is what I found on eBay. And I was almost going to buy it. Sorry, dude. I didn't because I thought I can make that. And so this is what I did. Uh, the hydroponics units usually call for uh, water pumps and all that stuff to aerate, get the oxygen in the water. And as we've been talking about, why do that when we have oxygenating plants that go under the water and you'll be fine. So we'll put our little fishies in there. And I thought, dang, that looks just like my Rubbermaid container. And so I took my Rubbermaid container. Actually, my husband drilled the hole. Or cut him out. And there you go. Well, and, and you put your little pots in there. And your herbs and vegetables or whatever you want to grow. I'm going to grow herbs. And there you are. Rubbermaid container all ready to go. I, I suppose you could put your... Um, you could put an aerator in there if you wanted for your fish, but you don't have to. Uh, I think you still have to. It'll grow just fine without it. Um, get that going. Put it in a sunny window so it can get some, you know, extra UV rays. Here's the little pot. Goes in the hole. Um, uh, traditional hydroponics type people buy these special little lava rocks and you can get that online or in a hydroponic store or you could just use pea gravel and that will work just fine too. So, it doesn't have to be, you know, the Starbucks of hydroponics. And I got this lamp. It was very affordable. It, ooh, it looks like it's on, but it's not. Um, a Target. It'll clip on. Where's the clip? Here's the clip. It'll clip on to the edge of, of my container, give it the light that it, that it needs, and we'll be all good. Now, if I lived up in Tahoe like I, like I used to, uh, I would probably purchase uh, more like a 65 watt special bulb, um, and we'll talk about that in our next episode on a different lighting and light bulbs to use, because I have some um, L LED. LCD, something like that, lights, um, that we'll talk about next time. So thanks for coming by. Thank you, Janet, for all your wonderful pictures. It was so exciting. And we have some more pictures to show you next time. So until then, happy gardening, happy ponding, and keep on being you. See you then. A big condo or an apartment or anywhere uh, and <laughs>